welcome back to my channel. It's Brie here. I am obviously steaming my uniform real quick because I got assigned a trip. So I woke up this morning around 6 a.m. And a little precursor, I kind of have to like talk about this because it's kind of crazy. So last week, right, I did San Diego, Alaska, and then Scotland. And um, I picked up a Maui trip on my days off. And I'd given myself like a day or two where I was like actually going to be off. And then I picked up the Maui trip and I decided to drop the trip because I was just so tired. Like, I just, I couldn't do it. Like, I've been working a lot all over the place. I was just way too tired for it. And then, um... I woke up today. I woke up today to scheduling giving me Maui. Like, how crazy. Like, the world works in mysterious ways, y'all. Like, I'm telling you. So, I am getting ready real quick. And then I will be on my way to the airport to work the flight to Maui. And let me tell y'all, I also manifested this. <laughs> Because last night I was literally, I literally said, I want to be on an island somewhere. I want to be on an island somewhere. And I said it multiple times. I was like, I want to be on an island. And my fiance was like, well, you really have no idea where they're going to be sending you tomorrow. And I was like, yeah, you know what? That's, that's totally true. Fair. And right before I went to bed, I was like, wouldn't it be something if Hawaii popped up? And <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Crazy. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get ready, pack my stuff, and then head out. So let's do this. job literally brings me to tears almost all the time <laughs> like how is this my real life right now holy crap wait till you see this room and my balcony view and I'm just like am I dreaming like this can't be real right now like oh my gosh I have to show you this hold on so this is the entrance walkway like look at this look how cute this is with your mirror here, right? There's another full length mirror there. I haven't even opened, okay. All of this, oh, mini fridge, very cute. All of this, very, very cute. Let's see. Bathroom there, right, okay. So Hawaiian. Oh my gosh, but look, this is the best part. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> real quick, because I need to 
like change and stuff. So the flight was eight hours, 14 minutes direct from Chicago to Maui. We took the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. The flight was actually pretty smooth. I mean, it was completely full. There were no empty seats whatsoever. Um, I worked economy, which is the first time that I've actually worked economy on like a wide body. That's what I'm looking for, a wide body, long haul. So even though this isn't considered like international, it's still like a long haul trip because it was eight hours, right? So we did three services. So you do the first main meal service, then you do another like snack and beverage service, then you do another like beverage service. So we did about three services. I got about two hours of a nap in, so that was great. Um, so now I am gonna change and kind of freshen up and meet up with the crew member and her boyfriend who non arrived over here. They rented a car and um, we're gonna go and do the road to Han Hana. I hope I said that right. The road to Hana. So apparently there's a bunch of different stops and like waterfalls and things like that to see. So that's what we're gonna do today. I have, it's right now it's four o'clock, 4.15. So I have pretty much the rest of the day here today. Tomorrow, I'm probably gonna be up early just because of the time difference. It's we went back in time five hours from Chicago, so I'm probably going to get up early tomorrow. Um, and then probably relax by the pool, relax by the beach. There is apparently a, an area that we can rent snorkel gear. I might do some snorkeling. I don't know. I'll just kind of play it by ear and just relax because I do have to work that red eye fly back tomorrow night. So I'm here. I'm in Maui. Let's like make the most of it. home so I'm awake I went to dinner last night with the crew which was really nice um, we had some Mai Tais and we just hung out and then afterwards we went and got some ice cream at the little ice cream shop here at the resort um, but it was a really nice day yesterday so today I think I am gonna just go with the flow I might go snorkeling might just hang out at the beach there is a little shopping village that's um, a little bit up the road here, so I might go check that out. Um, our van pickup time today is at 2.50, so I do still have a decent amount of time. Um, I did want to try to get in a little bit of a nap before that one, just because it's going to be a really long day. We get back to Chicago at 6 o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning, so because there's a five-hour time difference, so we're going ahead five hours. So um, that's the plan. I'm right now, I'm just sitting in my bed, admiring the view from out of my window or my sliding glass doors balcony. I did just go sit out there for a little bit and drink some coffee, but it's kind of windy. There's a little bit of a chill in the air. So <laughs> um, I might just hang out here for a little bit longer. This shops and stuff don't open until nine. So I still have some time. 
I might get dressed and just go downstairs and walk out by the beach and just hang out there. I don't know. It kind of looks like it's high tide right now. So I don't know if I, if there's much room to do that. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So I am walking down to what's called Whaler's Village, which some people told me about to check out. I mentioned it earlier, so I'm, I'm heading up there now. Um, I was gonna try to take the trolley service because there's a complimentary trolley that will take you up there from the hotel, but it doesn't start running until 10 o'clock. It's about 8.30 right now, so I didn't really wanna wait until then. So I just kind of headed out, started exploring. Um, stopped along the beach because there was some really cool stuff to see there, which I'll show you guys also. Um, yeah, so it's like walking along the golf course right now. And I don't remember what time the shops and, and stuff open. I think around 9 o'clock, so I should be getting there right on time. So I'm probably going to catch some breakfast because I'm really hungry because it's like 1 p.m. in Chicago right now. I haven't eaten anything so um, the time difference is the one thing about this job that's kind of crazy but um, yeah I don't know the name of the street that I'm walking along otherwise I would tell y'all but you can kind of see the golf course there Well, you guys, our time here is coming to a sad, sad end. I really don't want to leave. And that has seemed to be a recent trend this last month. I've been getting so many great trips, so many great layovers that I just, I it's not enough time like I want more time give me one more day one more day but um I am about to probably sorry I'm looking at the water I'm trying to see if I can see like a whale or a turtle or something and I thought I saw something but I don't think it's anything um I am about to probably hop in the shower and then start getting ready and packing and all that stuff it's so so nice here like i don't know <laughs> i did go and laid out by the beach for a little bit and then i grabbed some lunch so i'm gonna start getting my stuff together and then we have to make our way back to the airport our van pickup time is at 2 50 even though our flight is at five o'clock because we're on kind of like the other side of the island so it's gonna take about 40 minutes to get back over there and yeah, but 